Hello and welcome back. Um, for this video we're going to look at creating a box plot. Some textbooks call this a box and whisker plot, so it's the same thing. Um, but we're going to use the TI Inspire graphing calculator to help us with this. Um, for this, I'm going to start from the home screen. I'm just going to start with a new document. And I am going to add a list and spreadsheets. Since this is talking about salaries, I'm going to go ahead and call this salary just so that you can see that um, it does label it. You can call it whatever you want to. So this would be the starting salary. And then I'm going to put in my 10 values into here. So we would put in the 38, 39, 41, and continue down until we have all 10 data points in. And we always want to check to make sure that all 10 are in correctly. If you have more data, you want to make sure that it is in correctly. All right, so I verified that all 10 are there. After I have all of my data entered into this screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Control and I. And for this one, I'm going to add the data and statistics screen. So option five, the data and statistics screen. And on this screen, like I've said before, that you just have a bunch of random dots. You can either put your box plot here or here. It's completely up to you whether you want to do a horizontal one or whether you want to do a vertical one. So I'm going to do a horizontal one. Um, and I'm going to click, it says click to add variable, I'm going to click to add salary because that's the one that we have, and it defaults to a box, or sorry, to a dot plot. Um, so you can see that each of the points is represented on here on the dot plot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit menu and the plot type, which is option one, and I want to do a box plot, which is option two. And you'll see that it'll automatically put it as a box plot. This one defaults to the outliers, which is the one that I prefer. Um, you could also contain this whisker here, but then you don't see that this point is an outlier. Um, so with this, we're able to see that um, we do have an outlier here at 51. If I hover over, it tells me that Q3 is at 44, the median is 42, Q1 is 41, and the minimum point is 38. So I can use that to help me plot my points over here. Um, I already have a horizontal scale set up. You would need to set this up for any um, graph that you're trying to do on paper. And then you would just use your graphing calculator to help you find the point. So like we said that the minimum was a 38 and our Q1 was a 41. Our median is a 42. Q3 is 44 and then we have an outlier at 51. So then what we would do is we would just draw our box around Q1 through Q3 and then draw a line where the median is and then connect our whisker and I'm not going to connect this one because this point is an outlier. Um, you do have the option to connect this, it's just one of those things where it's a preference. Um, like I said before, if you wanted to, I could have clicked over here and used salary over here and it'll do um, a vertical box plot. So some people like to have vertical box plots instead of horizontal or if you want to go back to the horizontal, you just have to click back down here again and it'll automatically change the orientation. As always, thanks for watching.